Um, Hi, my name is Shelby Wages, and I'm going to be demonstrating my bathing and hygiene for my Check Off 2 videos. Um, so we would first want to enter our patient's room, uh, introduce ourselves, practice uh, proper hand hygiene, and then we would want our patient to identify themselves using two identifiers, and we would check the wristband to make sure that that was correct. Um, and next, we would want to ensure our patient's privacy. Um, and then make sure we had all of our supplies for our bathing process. So this is gonna be our washing bucket, and then we would have a rinsing bucket. Um, and so next we would want to make sure that our bag is at waist level to ensure proper body mechanics. And then we would also want to lower the patient's head a little bit, um, making sure that they stay comfortable. And then next we would lower the handrail and remove our patient's pillow. We would then put a towel behind their head. And then we would provide a bath sheet for their comfort and their privacy. And if they were able, they would hold on to the top of the bath sheet. Okay, so first we're going to start with their eyes. So we would go from inner to outer, and then next we would do the other eye using a different area of the washcloth. And then we would gently wash their face. And if they needed oral care, we would go ahead and provide that. If they could do that themselves, um, they would do that. And if they needed help, um, we would do that, being very careful not to initiate any gag reflexes and to do that properly. We would provide them um, a bin to spit in if they needed it. Also, if they had dentures, um, we would have our gauze finger and we would remove the top denture first and then the bottom denture, um, letting them sit in the solution if needed. And we would also make sure to brush those dentures. Um, if they were unconscious, we would want to make sure they were in a side laying position. And we would also um, have suction nearby in case we needed to suction out any extra fluid so they don't aspirate. Um, we would also have a cup um, to keep from the saliva from getting on the bed or anything like that. Um, so after we do their face, we're going to do their uh, arms. So we want to, again, make sure we're ensuring our patient's privacy. And then we're going to um, put a towel here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna use my cue and say that before washing our patient's face, we would ask them if they wanted any soap in their water. And if they did, we would need to rinse that and dry that area, so. For their arm, we're going to use our um, washing bin. And then what we're gonna do is um, start from fingertips to arm using long, firm strokes. And then we wanna make sure that we clean in between their fingers And then we would rinse and dry that area as well. Um, if they needed nail care, we would possibly um, let their nails soak in a solution for a little bit while we are bathing them. Um, and then we want to make sure that we cut those nails straight across and then 
if needed, we would file them um, to shape up the edges. Um, after we do that and we rinse and we dry, um, I would move around to the other side and do the same thing with that arm as well. And so after that, we're going to move our bathing sheet down. Um, and we would have our gown removed, but for demonstration purposes, we're not doing that. Um, to remove the gown, we would want to remove it from the unaffected area or where there wasn't any IVs or drainage tubes or anything like that first. And then that way it makes it easier to get the gown off of the affected area. So um, once you have that and you're ensuring their privacy, you would take your rinsing cloth and um, or your washing cloth and you would wash their chest and circular motion. And then if they were a female, you would use your the back of your hand to lift the breast and wash under the breast. And then for the abdomen, you'd want um, strokes like this, down and then up. Um, and then again, we would rinse and dry that area as well. Um, being sure to wash in any folds or creases. Um, and so next we would do the um, perineum area. And for a male, we would start off by washing um, the meatus, and we would do that with um, circular motions going from inner to outer. And then we would wash the shaft going from tip to base and then we would wash um, the scrotum, uh, being very gentle and careful. Um, we'd also want to make sure that before that, we would wash their inner thighs with a circular motions. Um, and then we would turn over our patient onto their side, having them grasp the handrail if they needed to. And we would wash the outer buttocks first and then the inner, um, again, using circular motions for the outer. Um, so after all that, if need be, we would then wash their legs. So we would take this and ensure their privacy. And <laughs> we would move our towel. Make sure that was underneath there. And we get our rug from our washing basin. And we would um, go from upper and then down and long firm strokes. And again, we would do that um, with our rinsing and with our drying. And then after doing this leg, we would move to the other side and do the other leg. Um, and then we would want to wash the feet um, Um, being sure that we get in between the toes. And then again, we would do that with our rinsing and our um, drying. And if they needed, we would soak their feet um, before we would turn their toenails. And again, we want to make sure that we get that straight across. So. Okay.